What's up, y'all? It's your guy, eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your UFC Fight Night Physio versus Gamrot full card predictions. Uh, phenomenal card. I love this card. Actually, really barn burner card. Uh, you got five or three fights that can be really fight of the night. Uh, some finishes that we could see. And I, I think this is going to be a really, really good card. But before we get into that, obviously, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. All those links will be down below in the description box. Like, comment, and share the video. Uh, let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about this card. Hard, man it's a really really good card uh we start off with uh jacob malcoon versus cody brundage uh really really good fight uh in the middleweight division uh obviously uh, jacob malcoon is uh 72 is uh 28 years old i had a 5'9 and reach 73 cody brundage is uh 29 years old uh six foot and reach 72 so jacob is having uh the slight reach advantage He's, I mean, his last one was against Nick Maximoff, really good win. Uh, and then his last loss was to Brendan Allen, but in a very competitive fight, split decision, or it was unanimous actually, but very close fight. A lot of people thought he won. Uh, so he's kind of like technically, technically on a four fight win streak to some people. I mean, be AJ Dobson, who's uh, coming off a win. Uh, Abdul Raz uh, Razak Khalasan, who's uh, coming off some KO wins. So he's beating some good guys. Last guy he lost, he was really Phil Hawes. And I mean, Phil kind of just got him, and this is when Phil, I, I mean, what had his hype, and obviously Phil, I mean, if he had a chin, he'd be a decent middleweight. I think he'd probably be a top 10 or top 15 middleweight. I mean, the guy has a win over Nasir and Amayov. Um, so, yeah, uh, Cody Brundage, uh, I mean, his his only, uh, I mean, his only claim to fame is uh, knocking out Deshaun Gore and then beating Dolce. I mean, both somewhat inimpressive, I mean, I don't know, in impressive finishes, but I mean, if you watch the fight, you're not impressed. He was really running from Tashawn Gore the whole entire time. Landed a really good shot, but I mean, Tashawn kind of kind of walked into that. And then the Dolce fight was just, I mean, it, it was, I mean, it, it was just um, a cardio battle. Dolce gases, he took advantage. Uh, but his last three losses, Mikel and JK got knocked out. Uh, Rodolfo Vieira lost all iq and his last fight i mean losing to Damas the way he lost to Damas was just embarrassing uh i thought the kid would have a lot more than what he showed in that Damas fight but my god that was embarrassing so um he's a factory x muay thai guy obviously guy those guys are most of the time well-rounded decent wrestling decent striking and that's what he is he, he primarily starts as a wrestler but um but besides that i mean He's really limited, really low fight IQ, and I mean, he just makes a lot of rookie mistakes uh, in there. Um, Jacob has been gone for a minute, so that's the thing, 10 months. Uh, Cody has been active, so activity is going to be on Cody's side, but when you talk about skill for skill, Jacob's the better uh, wrestler out of the two. I think it's going to be a tough fight stylistically for Jacob, but um, the better wrestler, the Mamba, uh, I mean, single leg to death uh, for Cody Brundage. And that's just how I see this fight. I, I got Jacob Malcoon, as I like to call him, uh, by decision. So uh, I think Brundage is um, is saying goodbye to his UFC contract. Next fight, Tim Means versus Andre Fialo. Man, oh my God, Fialo's last stand potentially. Um, both of their last stands. I, You know what? I'm, I'm going to be rocking with Andre Fialo. I mean, I know he's on a three-fight uh, KO loss streak. Uh, Jake Matthews kind of uh, ended his career low-key. Uh, lost to Muslim Salikov and lost to Joaquin Buckley. But before that, I mean, he had a really good performance against Cameron Van Camp, uh, Miguel Baeza. And then he had that really good fight with uh, Michelle Pereira. So, uh, no, or Pereira or whatever. The guy that does backflips, basically. So he's had good performances. And, I mean, he had the public fool in thinking that he had top 15 potential. I think he's a really fun fighter to watch. Uh, good, decent boxing, but very, very bad defense. I mean, very bad uh, de defensive boxing skills. He gets caught with a lot of shots. And, I mean, he's very boxing-oriented, too. He doesn't throw any kicks. And when he when kicks are thrown at him, he has a lot of issues. So, yeah, that, that was kind of the thing. And Buckley, I mean, Buckley has potential. Muslim Salikov also, we've known that he does have a ceiling of, uh, as a, of a top 15 fighter. I think he had that potential. So, yeah. Tim Means, on the other hand, the Dirty Bird, durable guy, tough dude. But, my God, 39 years old at, at Welterweight. Uh, he lost to Kevin Holland, uh, Max Griffin, and Alex Morono. Those guys are pretty solid, though. Those are some solid competition. I, I would say those three are better than Buckley, Salikov, and Matthews, actually. 
I, I think Morono would beat Buckley. I, I think Max Griffin might be... Ah, that'd be a tough fight between him and Muslim Salikov. Matthews and Holland, I think Holland will fucking starches him. So, yeah, I, I would say... Ah, that's tough, bro. That's tough. I'm going to rock with Fialo because I do feel bad for him. And obviously, Tim Means is, is a proven commodity. He has nothing else to prove. If he loses this, this doesn't hurt. I don't think it hurts his legacy at all. I, I'm not saying he's a fucking Hall of Famer, but I mean, he's a tough veteran and he, he deserves his respect. But Fialo needs to win bad. I, I say Fialo uh, is going to knock him out in the first round. I think it's going to be a firefight. Uh, and I think it's going to be reminiscent of the Nico Price fight. So that's kind of like how I'm going in. Uh, I, I say uh, in the clinch hook uh ko that's that's gonna be my um guess there so yeah uh miles john versus daniel Aragueta. uh good fight here um i mean miles john i mean he's coming off a win over vince morales uh la last loss was to john castaneda and that was just such a beat down uh to castaneda daniel Aragueta. um i mean premature a stoppage against ronnie lawrence and then uh He's, he's just looked really good. I mean, his last loss was to Damon Jackson. Obviously, dude's way bigger than him. He's not 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 the not the right weight class. But I, I think Aragueta is just the more complete fighter out of the two. I, Miles Johns is a is a tank, but T Wood uh, frozen one uh, mentality here. I, I really really do believe that he's he, he's kind of like one hitter quitter. If he gets a shot, he gets a shot. But activity is not his strong suit. Um, he's just a really he's a powerhouse motherfucker, but. Uh, it's gonna be a tough fight for him, and I, I think Daniel Arguetta is the better fighter, man. I'm, I, I like the kid. good wrestling, good striking, just really well rounded fighter. He comes in there with a complete uh, skill set. I like the um, the strategies he, he you know he implements in his fights, man. He fights really really smart, high high fight IQ, uh, and I just don't think uh, Miles Johns got that. So I got Arguetta by decision here. Uh, Castaneda fight kind of fucking it made me look at him a little different. Um, Monza, uh, next fight, Monza Rhett Rendon versus Tamaris uh, Videl. Um, interesting fight here. Um, you guys know, female fight, uh, not the biggest fan <laughs> uh, uh, when they compete, but hey, uh, this is how I kind of look at it. I mean, if you're from Brazil and uh, you're you're on the rainbow side, but you're a little, uh, a little ma masculine for a female, I, I usually rock with you. You have a, some weird power boost. Fidel, I mean, she comes with a lot of aggression and just uh, has a lot of testosterone in her system. So I'm <laughs> I'm rocking with her over Red Dead. I'm sorry, y'all, for the, I guess, incomplete uh, <laughs> breakdown of this, but uh but yeah if you, kitchen mma is just i'm i'm completely done with it but uh it is what it is uh i i got videl by decision here uh next fight jake collier versus muhammad usman uh i i, I think i might be going with the collier upset three three fights loss I, usman is a good fighter decent wrestler uh decent hands um he that zed Pueg, uh knockout was a it was a good ko for him but um i i, I am i really want to want to pick collier bro i i have the I have the mental fortitude to pick Collier, but I think I'm a rock with Usman here by decision. Uh, I think he gets the decision win here, but I, I'd be, yeah, he might try to wrestle fuck Collier, but don't be surprised if Collier just puts the whole world on his back and is like, fuck scammer nations and just uh, smokes uh, Usman. I'm, just, I'm joking, I'm joking. Nigeria, I love you. You guys have beautiful women. It's a, just a joke. Uh, Mizuik anyway versus Henny Goldie. Um, next fight, my bad. Um, good fight uh, in the uh, the strawweight division. Um, well, it's not a good fight, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, anyway hasn't fought in like three years. Goldie's last fight was 11 months, and she got smoked by Molly McCain. I mean, she's a grappler, but doesn't really utilize it. Her last one was against Emily Whitmire, which is doesn't say much uh, by armbar. I, I, I'm going to pick Goldie just because. I don't know, actually. I'm I'm gonna pick Goldie. This could be a fucking dumb decision here. Nah, I'm gonna pick Music anyway. I was gonna pick Goldie based on activity, but I mean, I mean, she, what has she done, bro? Like, she, what has she done? I'm gonna pick anyway by decision here. Uh, Goldie, I'll, hopefully she gets the win though. But I'm gonna pick anyway by decision, even though she hasn't fought in forever. Uh, she has. She's the more experienced fighter here. She should win this. So. Uh, last loss was to Amanda Lemos. No shame in that. She beat uh, Yana Wu by split decision. So yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with Mizuki anyway here. Uh, next fight: Marina Rodriguez versus Michelle Watterson Gomez. Uh, 
uh, the rematch. Uh, I'm a rock with the girl that won it the first time. Yes, I, I do think Rodriguez, his time has passed. Right, that's this fucking. I feel really bad for her. She got completely screwed by the fact that she kept fighting top level competition. That's why I always tell people I hate when people say, "Oh, be like Robert Whitaker. I'm gonna be undeniable and be the true number one contender." When you're already the number one contender, I hate when people quote that shit. Be like Robert Whitaker. Be like Robert Whitaker. Yeah, Drinkers Two Plus just knocked you the fuck out, dummy. All right. Listen, you do not do that, all right? This is a fucking, some info, I'm sorry, hold up. I had, to, I had to do something real quick. But here's my point, you do not fucking do that, all right? I don't care what any person tells you, you do not ever, ever do that. When you're the true number one contender, you sit on it. I don't care what Dana White says, your ranking is number one. You, they can't deny you forever, all right? If you're ranked number one, you're gonna get a title shot, all right? Fuck that. And I used to say, uh, Marina Rodriguez, uh, case in point. I mean, she has a lot of fucking good wins. I mean, Jean Yon Yan, Mackenzie Dern, fucking obviously Michelle Watterson, and then she fucking lost to Lemos and then lost to Verna Janaroba, which was super, super embarrassing for her. Just got out wrestled, out grappled here. But uh, I, I feel like this fight's gonna be like how it was the first time. I, me I remember it. She just outboxed her, outworked her, outstriked her. Power advantage. I don't see Michelle Watterson just being this almighty grappler and just grapple, uh, grapple fucking her but uh it, it could happen you never know it, we've seen worse things happen but yeah i, I got marine rodriguez here by decision just and waterson's tough so and obviously i think waterson might get cut after this so yeah it is what it is next fight brian battle versus aj fletcher a phenomenal fight uh i'm rocking with brian battle i've been rocking with brian battle for a minute i think the size the length is just gonna be a really big problem for aj fletcher if aj fletcher goes out and tries to wrestle he could make this fight interesting i that would be interesting but i, I got battle by decision aj's a tough dude from lafayette should be a good fight but i mean he had that really tough fight with Matthew Zumberger, and then Angloos kind of, you know, even though that was a close fight, Angloos out outworked them, and then obviously he had that win over Themba, which was good for him, the guillotine choke. But Brian Battle here, I mean, I, I just see him really, really um, just being the longer guy, man, and just just jabbing at AJ and just attacking with uh, body kicks, high kicks, just just being the way better striker here. And his last performance against uh, Gabe Green was fucking a phenomenal, really good KO, and it put him on the spot. So good for him there. Um, next fight, Charles Jordan versus Ricardo Ramos. Um, I've never, you guys know me, I've never been high on on Jordan. Um, Ramos has a lot of potential. I feel like he's he's always shown that he can be really really decent here um he's been smoked by lauren murphy uh and he's lost uh zubar tukagov but i i i know jordan had the performance against burgos which it is what it is but i mean we saw what nathaniel wood did to him uh he had that good fight against crone gracie where he won but i mean just he beat Lando Venata. He beat uh, Andre Yule, but he's just not. I don't see him in him. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't see that he's him guy. I just. I've always been super, super critical of him, and I'm rocking with Ramos here. I. I, I think uh, he has. He's the longer fighter. Uh, he's the more athletic striker i would say he has more explosive ability and more uh, more of a finishing upside I, i'm charles Renee might be the 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 better minute winner when it comes to the feet but i mean you never know R ramos might just go out here and fucking take this guy down i mean his, his his grappling is just not there he he can be taken down fucking nathaniel was tripping him all over the place shane burgos took his back for five straight minutes you know what i'm saying so I'm I'm rocking with Ramos here. Uh, Jordan can can kick rocks. Uh, I got Ramos by decision. If he finishes him, that'd be fucking phenomenal. Um, and in the co-main event, banger fight right here: Bryce Mitchell versus Dan Ige. Uh, I've been kind of tossing and turning on this one, but I'm rocking with Thug Nasty here, man. Thug Nasty. I mean, he had the way more dominant decision win over Edson Barboza. I thought Dan Ige didn't win that fight. Dan's been on a good run. I mean, beating uh, Damon Jackson and uh, Nate Land were was were good wins. But w uh, go watch the Koreans zombie fight and that's why i'm picking uh bryce mitchell you got out wrestled here and i don't get it twisted he can wrestle and i i think um dan has decent takedown defense and dan's getting better obviously extreme couture is you know at a high right now but i, I think dan is at a ceiling i don't think bryce mitchell's at a ceiling i think bryce 
might have lost to the future champ in Ilya fucking Taporia. Uh, I, I, I might make a breakdown on this. I'm still tossing and turning if I want to make a breakdown on this. Uh, tell me if you guys want to break down on Bryce Mitchell versus Dan Ega. I'll, I'll fucking go ahead and do it. But uh, I, I think Bryce Mitchell... I think he just damn near lost to the future champ. Uh, I think that's just really what happened. I think 15 and one, bro. It's a pretty good record, man. And I mean, the guys he's beaten, obviously, the Edson Barboza fight is fucking phenomenal for him. I mean, Andre Philly is a good win for him. Good takedown defense. Charles Rosa. All right, it, it kind of goes down after that. But still, uh, the Edson Barboza fight is just undeniable. And I, I think Edson, obviously, styles make fights grappler versus uh striker and obviously dan fought more of a striking fight with edson so that's that's also to put in perspective but i mean i have seen him get out wrestled by uh mozart evolve too so i i'm rocking with uh bryce mitchell by decision should be a good fight and obviously finishing upside goes to dan ige all the dan ige pickers out there i'm not surprised if you're going with him there's no shame in that i think i think he has a real good chance of knocking him out but i mean he's taken a long layoff eight months off since that elite support fight he got knocked down and choked out so that's okay uh and in the main event war y'all I, I want you to know if it goes 50 45 49 47 or 49 46 or whatever or 48 47 or if it gets if we get a knockout in this fight or a submission win no matter what, the victor will be Matsu Gamra. I have a breakdown on this. I go really, really in depth with this. But Fizia fans, you're getting put in the dirt. This is the last nail in the coffin. This is war. You you bring guns, we bring fists, and we go to your gyms. We are not the same. I know you've seen the video. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I might put this at the end of the video just to let y'all know how we roll. All right? Gamrot till the end of time, baby, unless he's fighting Benny. All right? That's just a fact. All right? That's the only time I've ever picked against this man. This man is a stud, good wrestler, former 145er. So he comes with that speed. Um, and we've seen Fizzy of Gas out in the Bobby Green fight. I know he had that performance against that uh, Fossil and my boy RDA. Yeah, all right, you styled on the old man. Good job. Let's see if you can defend those takedowns against a stud in Matsu Gamron. See you soon, Rafael Fiziev. See you soon, boy. All right, but yeah, I'm rocking with Matsu Gamron here by decision. Uh, but yeah, fucking ground and pound in the fourth round, submission in the fourth round, or in the fifth round. Those props, well, I, I, I might hit those, but baby, Fiziev, you're done, son. All right, I want you to know you're done, son. You're going down. Uh, I, I think Gamera is going to is going to put on a master class. The Jalen Turner fight did not give him a good um, showing. Short notice per, uh, fight he took, by the way. Put that in perspective. But uh, Fiziev, your time is done. You got taken down by Justin Gaethje. My case in point. Good night and goodbye, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have nothing else to say. Go check out the breakdown on this if you want a better uh, in-depth um, breakdown on the fight. But yeah, it's coming out on Monday. Love y'all and goodbye. Uh, it's your boy eBay. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. YouTube channel. I'm going to go check that out. And uh, hey, subscribe to eBay's fight prediction. Let's keep the eBay fight predictions nation growing.